And now continuing coverage of the growing gun debate. Supply of ammunition at many gun stores is running low, but uh, not for the government. There's a bullet buying spree go going on right now by the Department of Homeland Security. CBS 21's national correspondent Christine Frizzau takes a look into one part of the gun debate that very few people are talking about. It's becoming a common problem at retail stores and ranges across the country. They come in, um, they want ammo, we don't have ammo. But the Department of Homeland Security appears to be on a buying spree. Their most recent request is for 10 million rounds of hollow point bullets for a 40 caliber pistol. Another 10 million rounds for a 9 millimeter, plus 1.6 million pistol cartridge 9 millimeter ball bullets. And that's just this year. Last March, DHS bought 450 million bullets, and in September, another 200 million. That's in addition to a reported 1.6 billion rounds they already have. So during the height of the Iraq War, U.S. soldiers used about 5.5 million rounds of ammunition every month. If you do the math here, that means the Department of Homeland Security has enough bullets to wage a full-scale war for the next 30 years. DHS says the bullets are needed for training, but military veteran Richard Mason is doubtful. We never train with hollow points. We didn't even really see hollow points my entire four and a half years in the Marine Corps. Why would they need all those hollow points? Why would they need all those ball rounds just for training? It doesn't really make sense. Sales manager Scott McCurley says it's been a hot topic of conversation at his gun range. It takes a lot of ammunition to run. 15 million, I'll give you 20 million, but when you start getting into billions in one year, that's not training, that's excessive waste. Even some lawmakers aren't convinced. It serves one purpose, it's a subterfuge, it's to keep it from being able to get out to the public to raise the cost up. Within the first month of 2013, we're talking about the fiscal cliff, we're talking about sequestration. Somehow, the Department of Homeland Security has enough money to buy 22 million more rounds of ammunition. The Obama administration is openly escalating its campaign against private gun ownership and shaking up the top ranks of the military command structure. But is it also preparing to make war on the American population? The answer to that shocking question is yes. DHS supplier provides shooting targets of American gun owners. Paul Joseph Watson has this shocking story about how law enforcement targets incorporated is producing cardboard cutouts of quote non-traditional threats. Of course this is on the heels of the federal government purchasing in excess of two billion bullets for non-law enforcement non-lethal agencies. What the hell is going on? They're producing targets that say they do not hesitate of children, of pregnant women, of elderly men, in summary of society's most vulnerable and typically most innocent citizens on the heels of Homeland Security and other agencies preparing to deal with the American people, openly stating they consider them to be potential extremists and the enemies in the event of an economic or civil unrest event. You just cannot believe these cutouts, but they produce them, and you've really got to ask why. To make history and to remake America.